Hi, this video <coughs> is a, <coughs> a spill uh, exploration around the microwave and how it works. Uh, this is a typical sort of microwave, a few years old, and um, before you start doing anything to these microwaves, you must remember to take the plug out, and I like to keep a plug in sight just in case someone else comes in and mistakenly plugs it in the bench thinking that it's something else. Um, on this microwave here, you've got your thermostat or your temperature control uh, for, your, for your power output into the microwave itself. And you've got a timer here and your door open there. We're not particularly interested about inside here. Uh, this is where the microwaves do the cooking for us. Um, is really good inside. Now, you'll find around the outside of the edge You'll have five or six screws, maybe some of the sides, maybe even some underneath. So we'll just whip the case off and see what we can find. I've already taken these screws out. There are six in this. Maybe seven. <laughs> so there they are. Now, most of them you lift them up and pull it back. First part of the case out. Um, don't ever turn one of these on. You've got the casing removed because the uh, magnetron is an extremely dangerous item to mess with. So when we look inside here, if we go through here, what we've got then is the mains lead coming in, with the plug out of course, and this is your mains lead coming in and it goes into this module here which has got uh, fuses and resistors in it but something I want to draw our attention to immediately is this item here now this even with it's unplugged is a very dangerous item this particular microwave has been unplugged for weeks if not months and um, it's a scrap one um, these microwaves here across the terminals, these store a charge. It's a very powerful charge. Now, you can discharge it like that, but you'll get a big flash and a bang, or you can pull a resistor across it. Depends how brave you are, really. Um, now, it looks like here, and this is a typical fault. Um, look, going back to this capacitor here, this can kill. So be sure to discharge it before you mess with it. You can put a resistor across it, across the terminals, or you can just short them out. Now, if your microwave comes on um, and it goes through all the motions of the uh, cooking cabinet lighting up and the um, turntable turning, and you've got that whirring sound, which is the fan here going around, um, but it doesn't cook. What it is, this fuse inside here is a fuse, and these are very expensive items to buy actually. Um, they're about 15 quid a piece. And when I get a scrap microwave, I usually save it. Um, so let's open this one up and have a quick gander inside. I'm having to do this video all in one because. When I load them up to YouTube with my iPhone, I can only seem to put one video on. So let's have a look inside this here. Right, so a quick turn on this here, pull this apart, and there should be a fuse in here. It's a glass fuse, so it is. There we are. And um, as I say, these units are about 15 quid a time. <coughs> I've seen them 10, 13, and up to 14 pounds, 70 odd, something like that. So it's worth keeping these. Um, as long as the current rating is correct, <coughs> and obviously the, the voltage will be the same, um, it's well worth keeping them. So there's an item to keep. I hope you could see that when I took that apart then. I think you did, but we'll take it apart again. So there we are, that's a fuse. So if your microwave's not cooking, but lighting up and the turntable's whirling round, this uh, surge fuse here, it's an anti-surge because 
when you first switch these on they get a huge surge of uh, current they're greedy for an instant in time and it draws a very high current this to compensate for that high current has a spring inside it and that um, gives with the surge of current and the heat um, it stops the fuse from um, melting and breaking um, but that's often what's gone on it and it may just be through age that it's um, gone fuses blow for a reason so if you've saved an old one from somewhere and you put it in it blows it again it's not age it's a fault so there they are that's that thing now inside here uh, then we've got a transformer here which uh, gives a very high voltage supply to your magnetron here the magnetron inside there um, you know there are there's a dangerous powder inside these so don't get sore in one of these up um, you know with a uh, angle grinder because you you could poison yourself um, in, in here it basically is a, um, a thermionic uh, tube with a cathode and anode and um, it works by the uh, cathode emitting electrons these go through a uh, strong magnetic field and um, it, it boosts them up in, into microwaves and they go into the cabinet and cook your food um, so don't turn these on without the casing on otherwise you'll cook yourself um, so going on around so we've got over this side now we've got the timer with a little bell and that works mechanically ah, it's pretty isn't it and um, up here you've got your um, cooking uh, switch potentially I'm tell this is your power switch for what sort of power you want to cook your food at and then you've got um, thermistors and thermostats there's another fuse here um, a big resistor there but this is all in the power module here this is where the power gets separated out to the various parts of it and um, then you've got a fan here for cooling everything down that's the whirring noise you can hear um, when your microwave switched on and uh, basically in block form that's about it really um, so you've got your mains lead your power distribution board you've got your uh, the smoothing capacitor there and then you've got your transformer your magnetron and your power switches on and off here there's your door interlock switch there which turns the thing on and off when you close the door and um, got another um, thermostat here which just keeps an eye on the temperature and everything and you uh, can see this has been getting hot there and so there we are and there's a quick look around the microwave but uh, as I've said before don't get messy inside there unless you're um, unless you're, you're experienced otherwise you can get yourself into bad health problems Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.